Let's talk injuries. Have a few brief injury updates, some notable injuries that we've been tracking. Uh, some of them for a while, some of them over the last few weeks or even days. So let's talk first Aaron Judge, I would say, is the most notable injury on this list. Um, he's been out for several weeks with uh, an injured toe. He sprained his toe, torn ligament, uh, in a collision with the wall in Los Angeles against the Dodgers. Uh, he will be out until at least July 28th. He took some batting practice over the weekend. Um, but he says that he's not expecting to be pain free this season when he comes back, which I know Yankee fans, you don't want that, right? Like, Oh no, Aaron judge is going to be a shell of himself. He's going to be playing injured this whole time. But there is some good news to this. I feel like there's a couple things. First off, the Yankees really need Aaron judge in that lineup. Apparently way more than anybody ever thought, right? Cause it seems like the rest of those guys forgot how to play when judge got hurt as a trailblazers fan. I think back when somebody talks about playing pain free or not, I think back to Greg Oden. We all remember Greg Oden, tremendous injury bust for the Blazers. Should have taken Durant instead. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, we won't get into that because this, this is not a basketball podcast. But one of the times he's rehabbing a knee injury, one of the beat reporters asked him, he said, when do you think you'll be back? And he said, when I'm pain free. It's like, dude, that's not how this works. Like, I understand it would be. In a perfect world, yeah, you can wait till you're pain free, but in the middle of the season, nobody's pain free, right? Like, especially, I mean, everybody playing every single day, ba- playing baseball for this long every single day. I doubt there's anybody in that clubhouse who is 100% absolutely certain that they're pain free. Nobody, I doubt it, right? So, for Judge to say that he doesn't plan on being pain-free, that he's going to come back anyway, I think is good news that you can get him back up in the lineup because, like I said, apparently they really, really need him, even if he's 85% of himself because 85% of Aaron Judge is 100% for most guys in this league. So I think that's good news for the Yankees. Jared Kelnick, uh, for the Mariners, um, we talk about strange or stupid injuries all the time, right? And this one is Kelnick kicked the water cooler after a strikeout last week and uh, he fractured his foot. So he's going to be out for several weeks. He'll be out until at least August 18th. Um, This is the interesting thing about this is that if this had happened last year, I would not have at all been surprised. Like, Oh, he went and he just took his foot to it and didn't hit it with his bat. Um, But this year he's done a really good job of keeping his cool and controlling his emotions Uh, last year. Not so much. He's a lot really hothead and i think his ability to control his emotions has gone a long way toward him having a much a much better year than what he had last year or the year before um but i did i will say that i did say be like be normal man hit it with your bat not kick it with your foot <laughs> so i don't know it's it's a bummer because he was having a really great year he was very upset about having to miss time he said that he let his team down let everybody down was really upset that he couldn't keep his composure and went in and kicked the water cooler. So uh, hopefully he comes back and he has a renewed sense of I don't know, vigor. I don't know if that's the word, but hopefully he comes back and we get Mariners fans call him September JK uh, because he is a completely different animal in September than he is the rest of the season. So I'd love to see September JK the middle of August when he comes back and then he goes on a tear and leads this team to playoff. Uh, to the end of the season, but I don't I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if he'll even make that that date or if it'll be after that. But hopefully he makes it back to, to play the rest of the season. Trevor Story had elbow surgery over the offseason. So he has not played at all this year. Haven't really talked much about him. Um, but he is currently rehabbing in AAA. Uh, so he has, I think, a couple weeks left on his rehab assignment, and he could be back possibly before the middle of August from what I read. Uh, I don't know if that will necessarily happen, but there's potential there because he's only got 20 days for a uh, rehab assignment. So at that point, he's either going to go back on the IL or he's going to come up with the Red Sox. So he could really be a helpful piece for the Red Sox if they're still in the wild card hunt at that point and then can really push them through the end of the season. They could really use his bat in the lineup. Speaking of somebody who's missing, a bat missing from the lineup, Mike Trout, uh, has he broke his hamate bone in his hand. He had it removed, which I thought was crazy. Uh, he, he broke that bone swinging his bat on July 3rd, I believe it was. 
Um, but they said that he's been throwing. They don't have a timetable yet for his return because he can't swing a bat yet because his hand is still swollen. So it could be a little while before we see Mike Trout again this year and uh, and get him uh, going into uh, into the Angels lineup. And I think that's part of the reason, the biggest reason why the Angels are talking selling Otani because without Trout in the lineup, they don't feel like they have much of a shot at making the playoffs. And uh, I think they're right, honestly. They're on a little bit of a hot stretch right now, but I don't think it's sustainable. you got to have Mike Trout in that lineup to help. Um, and with him being a big question mark at this point, they're probably going to have to get rid of Otani at the trade deadline next week. 